Well, Light, it's all over. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Death Note episode 12. Now guys, uh, okay, the last episode was insane. The development, man, the development. We have another Shinigami from the Shinigami realm entering our quarters of the human life. And they dropped another Death Note and a seemingly blonde little girl picked it up. And already paid for the eye, so she's already stronger than Light is. The question is, is she smarter than Light is? Okay, that, that's that's the real question here. Because we know that Light can overcome pretty much anything, just like L. And uh, yeah, this is going to be very interesting. Because it seems like this girl wants to team up with uh, Kira, a.k.a. Light. And... Uh, Ali's going to have a lot of trouble on his hands if he doesn't stop this, if he doesn't catch this person. But, you know, like, Al wants Light to join the task force. Uh, Light wants to join Al in the task force to catch this person. But, okay, so at the same time, two doors are opening. Okay, it op this opens the door for Al to catch the other Kira and gain the necessary information to catch Light. Or this opens the door for Light to use this girl to look at L's name and kill him off finally. So both of them are gaining the advantage and a disadvantage at this very moment. So right now this story can, you know, go in two different directions and I'm loving it, okay? I can't, I don't know what's gonna happen, man, but I can't wait to find out. We're gonna be jumping right into this, guys, but before we do, if you enjoy my reactions, feel free to share, subscribe, like, leave a comment, ring that bell for notifications, guys, follow me on Instagram, Job on Discord server, and my Patreon page, and let's jump right into this reaction. Let's go. The title of this episode is Love. Right. Miyazaki had decided that he'd like you to help with the investigation. If you're still interested, then you need to come here right away. Thank you, Light. Not at all. After all, I want to catch Kira as much as you do, Yuga. I'll have to ask that you call me Ryuzaki here. I'm Matsui. I'm Aihara. And I'm Asahi. Please tell me they're not giving him their real names. Come on, people! He's still a suspect. Come on, man. Yeah. To keep things simple from this point on, I'll call you Light. I'd like you to examine these videos. They were sent to the TV station, but were never aired. For security reasons, you're not permitted to take notes, and all materials must remain here. I understand. Okay. Light. Okay, his dad is looking at Light like, are you really a suspect, my, my child? What is going on? <laughs> you know? But yeah, Light is working with Al. This is some interesting development, guys. I don't know about you, I'm getting fairly excited, excited. Like, this is awesome. Okay, I cannot wait to see them work together, man. Well then, we the need previous to ask Light. to assist us. However, we cannot tell him that we're considering the possibility of a second Kira. Are you serious? But wouldn't that make working together a bit difficult? That's right. Oh my god. Yes, that's right. He did say this. I'm curious to see what his impression of these tapes will be prior to knowing ours. Light's deductive reasoning is really quite incredible. He may suspect that these tapes are the work of a second Kira. Without hearing our explanation, how would Light ever know that? The suspect that we've been pursuing up until now has needed both a name and a face to kill his victims. But there is something different happening here. Recall that Mr. Yeah. Kikita was killed the moment he arrived at the station. And this yeah. Kira demanded only that I appear on TV, but made no request for my name. This implies that the second Kira only needs to see a person's face to kill them. So I'll ask... Man, my... his deductive abilities are amazing, man. He deduced all of that from, from few tapes that aired. That's amazing, man. Yeah, you know, because he's working with forces that he can't even comprehend here, man. You know, supernatural forces killing people by writing their names in a death note. You know? So, and he's still on track. Amazing. Logically, if he's really Kira, he'll want me dead, seeing as I'm the one leading the investigation against him right now. Okay. And the way things are going, if I comply with this new subject's demands and appear on TV in three days, there's a very good chance I will die. 
Yeah. I can't see the real Kira jeopardizing such an easy opportunity to get rid of me. You know, when you have when you have a popular criminal or whatever, people tend to, you know, leech on that. And yeah, you know, some people, like they have been instances where people actually pretend that they're the serial killers, that they're, you know, even though they're not, you know, because of attention. You know, some people are just seeking attention. And in this case, yeah, yeah, you would think, yeah, there, there, there will be copycats, but not like this one, man. This is the the copycat of copycats. This is the better than than the original because she has the eyes, man. Come on, you know. So I I thought that eventually we would have copycats like normal people. Like, I'm Kira, I am God, but you know, not being able to do shiz. But here we got a real, real, real Shinigami copycat. Like, come on, come on, that's just. This video is so mediocre, it's making me sick to my stomach. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm the real one, but this is a complete disgrace to everything Kira stands for. Something's not right here. It seems unusual that no one bothered to explain this video to me. So oh, now he's the doctor's abilities are kicking in. He's gonna crack this. He's gonna crack what they're doing. Like the, well, in any case, I'd be stupid to comment on it. It's probably best if I say nothing. If I just leave it alone, it all dies. So what do you make of this light? If I just leave it alone, L dies and he's falling right into L's trap. Okay. That does make sense. Real light, real Kira ain't gonna, you know, pass the opportunity to kill Al so easily, man. In three days, he shows his face, he's gone forever. He can do whatever he wants to then. So, yeah, he's gonna go with the flow and say, oh, you know, but that also proves that he's, you know, stuff. Come to any conclusions? Mm -hmm. Damn, it's a test. <laughs> it's hard to say for sure, but there might be another person out there with Kira's power. With Kira's power? But what do you mean by that light? At the very least, I'd say this tape was not created by the Kira we're familiar with. It's extremely out of character for him to use these kinds of victims for his killings. And since we've established that he needs a name and face to kill, it makes you wonder how he was able to kill that detective and those two officers right outside the television station like that. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> It's the same. Bruh. That's almost exactly how Al, I mean, Ryozaki said it. Exactly! That was incredible, Light. <laughs> no only doubts about you should be resolved. I think you're exactly right about that. Man, why do I get a feeling Al's gonna be like, okay, it's more like 60% now that you're the real kid. I'm like, come on, man, that was so spot on. It's like I'm looking at another Al, man. He, he basically used the same terminology as well. I also believe that this is the work of a second Kira. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. So you knew about this all along, Ryuga? Sorry, Ryuzaki? Which means this was just another one of your tests? It wasn't my intention to test you. The truth is, if I was the only one who thought there was a second Kira, it wouldn't be too convincing. But the fact that we both came to the same conclusion makes the theory that much more believable. I expected you did not disappoint us. Is this gonna be a plot twist and these guys are gonna be brothers or some shit like that? <laughs> like, they're... They're like the same up here, man! You've been a great help. It's decided then. First, we must focus on stopping this copycat. From what we've seen, he sympathizes with a real Kira, but clearly lacks his sophistication. I think okay. he might even be willing to obey the original. If so, we could lure him into a trap by sending our own message from the real Kira. I would like you to play the part of the real Kira. Huh? Woo! Kira? Yes, you're the only one I can think of who'd be able to pull something like this off. That's provocative. That's provocative. Because he's sussing him to be the real Kira. And now he's like, I want you to play the real Kira. Let me see how you act as Kira. You know? Because then he might show his real face. At any rate, we don't have time to waste. Do you think you could script a message from Kira in time for it to be aired on this evening's national news? <laughs> I'm <laughs> loving this. He must have been planning this from the beginning. I was improvising. Feel free to change it to whatever you like. That sounds good. Okay, I have The script is ready. I'll leave it to you. All right. I'm now. Okay, this is uh, this this is a real predicament on L, man. Cause that girl, she only needs to look at him, and he's dead. 
and he's hanging around a uh, light a lot. So tell, tell me this. Uh, we heard videos and everything. So what if light takes a photo of Al and then shows it to the girl and then can the girl see like, you know, how, how many years and, and the name based on the photo or does it have to be live like video? Tell me in the comments if you know and if it's not a spoiler. Because that, that, that would be one way of, of, of getting rid of L. Because this girl does seem like reluctant to, to, to go on Kira's side. Announcement. In response to the frightening Kira video aired on Sakura TV only a few days ago, an anonymous individual has contacted us claiming to be the real Kira. We can only hope this video will provide us with some much needed answers. Okay, so they actually informed everybody that there are two Kiras now. What is happening right now? This is just chaos, okay? This is just chaos, man. I am Kira. It worked! Oh? I knew he'd answer me. The true Kira. The one who was broadcast on Sakura TV several days ago is a pretender. A fake. The purpose of this message is to communicate my will to this imposter. This girl looks I like an emo girl. Like... <laughs> for the time being, only because I believe he wishes to cooperate with me in the creation of a new world. I ask two things of him. That he refrain from killing aimlessly, and that he agree to abide by my basic principles. Yay! Now where is that camcorder? What are you planning to do? Uh, hello? Do you really need to ask? I'm going to reply to him, of course. Ryozaki, we have a reply from the second Kira. Several days later, she replied. Okay, did you see the room, though? She looks like an emo girl. She was wearing all black. She had a Grim Reaper over there, man. She had a she had a little doll that looked like her Shinigami. Not gonna lie, it was similar, man. So what is going on here? Like, this girl... And this girl doesn't seem frightened at all from the Shinigami, just like light. So, come on. Like, a normal person would just freak out if a god of death appeared and you can see him. And he's just, like, looks like they do. Like, you know, I would be distraught. I'd probably end up in a mental institution, man. <laughs> and they're, like, just chilling with, with, with the gods of death. Like, something's going on here. What? Really? I will be bringing over the envelope and tapes that we received. But in the meantime, I'm streaming a copy of the video so you can view it on your end. Okay. Can I thank you for your reply? Please do not worry. I will follow orders and do as you say. Wow, it worked. I will do as you say, huh? This guy's gonna be no help at all. If this fake had any idea what my wishes were, he'd insist that L appear on TV and then kill him anyway. How could you fall for something like this? Damn it. I really want to meet you. I don't think you have the eyes. <laughs> but you don't have to worry. I would never try to kill you. <laughs> oh, too much information! Too much information! That's what Light was worried about! Them discovering about the death note. This, oh my god. I don't think you have the eyes. L listening observing and he didn't compose himself when he heard that so okay 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 guys i'm just saying i'm just saying just saying man this ain't good for light at all what the hell is he thinking talking about sheeny yes public yes like this what's this having the eyes supposed to mean is it a code yeah Please tell me how I can meet you without the police knowing. You'll think of something, and when we meet, we can confirm our identities by showing our Shinigami to me. <laughs> okay, this is a disaster. Oh my, this is a disaster for light. They, oh my god, this girl is really blonde. <laughs> what the hell? And Al, did you see him after he heard about the eyes? He was shook, shook! And now, when she mentioned the Shinigami, <laughs> man, okay, okay. Shinigami, he's a liability if I don't do something about him quickly. <laughs> what? What? You all right? Shinigami. Am I supposed to believe that the Shinigami actually exists? Bruh, he's shook, shook. He is shook, shook, man. I, oh, I wouldn't have ever thought that something can shook him like this, man. 
Damn, yes, his whole perception of reality has just been warped. Am I am I expected to believe that Shinigami really exists? And and that frail look on his face, like scared, terrified. Damn, man. That's not easy when, when you realize what you're up against. Okay, new rules. You may also write the cause and or details of death prior to filling in the name of the individual. Be sure to insert the name in front of the written cause of death. You have about 19 days according to the human calendar in order to fill in a name. Yeah, yeah, light, 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 light did this, I think, already. Even if you do not actually possess the death note, the effect will be the same. If you can recognize the person and his her name to place in the blank. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sh Shinigami? Am I supposed to believe that? That Shinigami Man. actually exists? That's impossible. Obviously, she spilled the beads. Yes, that's right, Ryazaki. Listen to yourself. Of course Shinigami don't exist. And why would he agree to let L live after going to all the trouble of getting him to appear on Bra, Bra, L is so shook. And that's right. L, did you know the gods of death love apples? Shinigami? Come on, man. Okay, L's gonna connect this. And look at the way he's looking at life. He's like, what are you? Like, you know? <laughs> the real Kira wants him dead. So, it doesn't make sense. And maybe there's some other connection between the real one and this new guy. He's acting out of an interest in Kira. The word Shinigami could very well be some reference to their killing power. Saying we can confirm our identities by showing our Shinigami to each other probably means that they'd confirm their identities by somehow demonstrating their ability to kill. Yes, that's it. Now we just need to convince this copycat to tell us what that is. Wait, so he fell for that? I mean, I do understand it, like, it's very difficult for you to believe in something like that straight out of the gate. But did he really just take a light's position that easily? I don't think, man, I think Al is just playing on him again. Like, I think he, he knows, I think he, he, he got the gist of it, and now he's just plotting something, man. Yes. So will you respond and force him to be more specific? We have to be careful how we handle this. We can't make it too obvious that we're asking, otherwise he'll realize we're not Kira. Now, if I were Kira himself, my priority would be to prevent this imposter from coming into contact with the police. This is good for us, because it means that the real Kira may feel pressure to respond this time. For one, he might reveal more information that he knows Kira once kept secret. To pressure him into a meeting, of course, that would make Kira nervous. Could be interesting. Oh, yeah. Yep. Light Light just saw that that girl, I mean, he doesn't know it's a girl, we do, but he saw that she's a liability, man, because she just uh, volunteered information that Al shouldn't have. So now that Al knows this, he's thinking of not responding in order to fluster the girl, in order to make Light, you know, be forced to, to to do something and uh, yeah light ain't gonna love this like he ain't gonna like this at all because he's in a situation where he can get caught because of somebody else this is not this is no longer in his hands he cannot control the other person this is and what would be more interesting is if kira sends a message of his own to prevent this from happening beautiful just like that is Perfect. this the girl i'm telling you these are gonna knock him dead you look like a little <laughs> angel, Misa. Oh, I'm so tired. That shoot went on forever. Modeling takes a lot of energy. She's a model? Hey, Rem. Huh? Can I ask you something? Rem. What is it? Each Shinigami has to have one death note of their own. For a Shinigami to give a notebook to a human, he needs to have two. Ryu could give a death note to Kira. Because he somehow found a way to sneak an extra one past the Shinigami King? Right. What about you? The Shinigami King isn't someone who's easily fooled. It doesn't happen often. Oh, then how did I get mine? Let's just say it has a lot to do with the fact that I'm one of the few in the Shinigami realm who knows how to kill another of my kind. That's how I ended up with two. I'm sorry, Shinigami King? There's a king of these monstrosities? <laughs> And Ryuk fooled him, that's how he has two death notes in order to give one to light. But this one, 
Rem, again with an R. <laughs> so, he's one of the few who knows how to kill Shinigami. <laughs> they did mention that they can get killed. This is an interesting development. So, is this guy Rem gonna go after Ryuk? Are we about to see a battle between gods of death? Man. Oh, I think I get it. You killed a Shinigami and then you gave his notebook to me, right? It's not like that. I wasn't the one who killed him. I just happened to be around when he died. Never repeat this to anyone. I learned the only way to kill a Shinigami is to make them fall in love with a human. Excuse you? What a beautiful way to kill. Did this girl... <laughs> this girl... She heard that and she was like, what a beautiful way to kill. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> what the hell? There once was a Shinigami named Jealous who spent all of his time watching over a certain Jealous? Young girl. Jealous wanted nothing more than to look at her as she went about her daily life. Jealous, really, that's the name. Okay. It's today, isn't it? Her last day alive. She looks so full of life. I wonder why today. It's... It's just not fair. Bruh! So, I'm assuming this was his friend? And he was spending his time because we know they're bored. He was spending he, he was spending his time stalking a girl. His name is Jealous, by the way. And he knows because of their eyes. He knows when she's gonna die. He knows that this is him, that person's last name on Earth. So what? When she died, he died of hurt. I also wanted to find out how she was going to die, so I stayed and watched with him. And then it happened. Oh, so it wasn't a natural death. A man suddenly appeared and blocked her path. He was clearly infatuated with a girl. I love you more than anyone else in the world. I always want you. I want to protect you forever. She'd never seen the man before, and of course, turned him down. <laughs> Damn, man. Without even thinking, Jealous did something that we Shinigami must never do. He killed him! He became... He became her guardian angel, man! He wasn't no... He was no longer the god of death, he was a guardian angel, so... Bruh! Jealous used his death note to kill the man instantly, and therefore saved the Prolonged girl's life. her life. It was the wrong thing to do. Shinigami exist only to shorten and take human lives. We aren't permitted to undo that which has been fated. Oh my god, so he... <laughs> so he imposed a death sentence on himself because they're prohibited for, for... They're prohibited from lengthening somebody's life, man. Prolonging somebody's life, what he did here. So he... he okay, he's disappearing as it seems. Is this the work of that Shinigami King? Tell me more about him, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, a new world just popped open, man. So many theories! <laughs> he died. The only reminder of his existence was his death note. Damn, that's sad. That's sad. The rest of his lifespan was added to hers. So not only had he saved her life, he'd accidentally extended it well beyond its natural end. So if he'd never fallen in love with this girl, he'd probably still be alive today, wouldn't he? Whoa, so she got his years? We know Shinigami can live forever? What? Are you kidding, mate? Like, okay. <laughs> okay. Me. That's right. Hmm. So we have... I had no idea. All this time I thought it was luck, but it was the Shinigami who saved my life that day. <laughs> yes. Jealous loved you enough to die for you. So that death note is now yours. Bruh. Hmm. I see. For a Shinigami to die, they have to love a human enough that they'd prevent their death from happening. So what about you, Rem? You're not in love with me, are you? Be honest. Just forget it. You really think you can kill me that easily? Oops. 
Oops, you saw through that? <laughs> Custody, they could find out about the Death Note. Something to start. That's her! I wonder, what kind of person are you, imposter? I wonder, what kind of person are you, Kira? There's no way this is just a coincidence. That's it to be continued. There's no way this is just a coincidence for them to be sitting in the same cafe two meters apart from each other, not knowing who they are. Okay, man. So much information, man. So much information. So this guy, Ram Shinigami, that's with this girl, he gave her the book of his friend who sacrificed his life for her because, yeah, she deserves that book. He loved her. He, he gave it to her, his lifespan and everything. So, no. Uh, at first, as he was telling the story, I, I was like, uh, is this Shinigami in love with this girl? But no, I think he's just, you know, he's just doing right by by his friend and, and kind of watching over her. Man, this is just too much, okay? And the fact that he told her, he, he literally told her never, never say this to anyone and then finished the story and she was like, oh, at least I have something interesting to tell Kira. It's like she doesn't even care. She didn't even bat an eye when she heard that the Shinigami died protecting her. She was like, oh, that's cool. Like, you know? So, okay. So that, that makes sense. It makes sense that she got the eyes because if her life was prolonged, like, way more than, than the natural lifespan should be, like, if she gave off half of that, she would still be, like, you know, able to, to, to live a hundred... I don't know how much her life was expanded, you know, but... I'm assuming if Shinigami can live forever, maybe she got like 10,000 years. So now she has, you know, 5,000. I don't know, man. You know, it's, it's just... Yeah, so she got the eyes. She's stronger than light. She's careless, as we saw. She doesn't particularly care about anything so far. Like, even this guy telling her such a sappy story... You know, but the way they drew that guy and the way that stole, man, that was so, that was good writing right there, okay? The Shinigami uh, killing that guy, prolonging her life and disappearing because, yeah, he became a guardian angel, man. Gods of death are supposed to, like, shorten the lives, not prolong them. So, yeah, that was that was good writing, okay? I, I didn't see that coming at all. Like, and that guy, like, approaching her, oh, I love you, I just want to protect you, having a knife <laughs> in his hand. Come on, man. Come on, seriously. And you were shocked that she turned you down in a dark alley, all alone, at night. You with a knife. <laughs> like, she never saw you before. Seriously? <laughs> so, yeah, that was that was kind of sweet, man. That pff, Even though it's a Shinigami, that was sweet. That was sweet. The storytelling is amazing in this show. And I'm really enjoying it. I really wasn't expecting such deep two episodes, man. We, we really just got introduced to another, another Kira, essentially, man. Only not as... Not as smart, but more powerful than 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 our original one, Light Yagami. So, damn man. Okay, we get to see Light working with with L. This is gonna be interesting, man. I, I I can't predict anything. I have so many theories. Okay, they 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 mentioned the Shinigami King. I need to know more about that as well. Cause come on, come on, come on, people, come on. Let let's get serious on this. Uh, that. That opens a whole different perspective of, of everything. Uh, Al hearing about Shinigami, okay, I can I can wait for him to to use that information because there's no way there's no way he's just gonna forget about it. He already connected the the part where gods of death are like apples. So you know, so yeah, guys, uh, that's pretty much all I have for you today. Sorry for the wait on these two episodes, but hey. Life got in the way. <laughs> anyway, uh, I really enjoyed this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.